Hey everyone, welcome to Cricut Time. If you like this video, subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn the designs that you have created from scratch in Cricut Design Space into files that you can save on your computer and share or sell. When you make a design in Cricut Design Space, you are creating an SVG, which is stuck in the program. It is a great tool for designing, but it's not so great if you want to share your design or sell it on sites like Etsy. Today, I'm going to walk you through the steps that you can take to change that. Let's get started in Cricut Design Space. This is a design that I made for a client for a doormat. We need to start by taking a really good screenshot. Let's start by removing the grid lines. On the top left-hand side, click on the three lines, then scroll down to settings. Change your canvas grid to no grid. Now that the background is white, we can take a screenshot. I'm on a Mac, so the shortcut using the keyboard is Command Shift 3. If you are on a PC, you can press Alt Print Screen. The screenshot shows up on your bottom right. Just click on that and then just crop it so it's just your design that's in the picture. Now for this next part, you're going to need Photoshop or a similar program. Just right click on the screenshot and select Open with Photoshop. If I wanted to save my image how it is right now, it would make a very good JPEG file, which is just like a normal picture file. If we want to turn this into a cut file that's appropriate for Cricut though, we have to do a few more steps. Over on the right hand side, there are different headings. Find your tab that says Layers, and then under that heading, you'll see your image. There is a lock beside it, which will stop you from being able to change it. Click it to unlock the design. Now we're going to use the power of Photoshop to do the hard work. Up at the top, click on the Select heading, and then go down to Color Range. With the eyedropper tool, click on a spot that is white, and then set your fuzziness to a low number. I have mine set in the 20s and that should be fine. Press OK and this will select all of the parts of the design that are white, but they'll leave the black alone. For a good quality Cricut compatible file, you'll want to remove all of the background. That's what's selected, so just press delete on your keyboard and poof, just like that, this file is ready to use. All you have to do now is save it in a format that Cricut will recognize. Press file, save as, and change the file type to a PNG. PNGs are perfect for Cricut because you can just upload them and they are completely ready to cut. Now that the file is saved, let's just switch over to Cricut Design Space and make sure that it works properly. Just click upload, drag your PNG file over, and press continue. Choose cut image, then continue, then click on your design, and press insert image. I'll just make it a little smaller and there you have it. The image is nice and clear. Using this technique, you were able to convert all of the designs that you have made in Cricut Design Space into files that you can share or sell. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. 